Scary season is here. That means that it's time for a tangentially related YouTube video to appear in your recommendations that makes you go, what? I'm going to talk about rating monsters by dateability. By that I mean I'm going to assign them a rating based on how dateable I think they are for me on a scale of 1 to 10. 1 being a total dud and 10 being a total stud. I have used an incredibly powerful mathematical algorithm called the dark recesses of my awful brain to decide these scores. So if you think a monster deserves a better or worse score, please write me a letter. Just a handwritten letter explaining why I'm wrong. These monsters are going to be a charcuterie of various different creatures and cretins from various different media. If I missed a monster that you like, sorry, there are a lot of monsters out there. I'm not going to be doing all of them. With that said, let's get down to raiding these boys and ghouls and eat a bowl of brass tacks, shall we? Chucky, what a doll. Not going to be the guy who brings a doll to a restaurant. I, I didn't go down this path and I still don't have to go down this path. Sorry, Chuckster. Two out of ten. Jason. Seems like a good guy, but has mommy issues. While I can see us having a nice quiet picnic near the lake, I can't see myself going on more than one date because he just won't stop talking about his mom. He can't stop talking about his mom. It, it won't stop. Cute mask, though. Five out of ten. The Loch Ness Monster. Yeah, okay. I mean, I would totally go on a date with Nessie. Pros? Cool disappearing dinosaur. Cons? Cool disappearing dinosaur. Very flaky. I also could not fit them inside of a restaurant for a delicious spaghetti dinner. I would have to bring the spaghetti dinner to Nessie. 4 out of 10. The dog from Invasion of the Body Snatchers. Thanks to B-Mask for this suggestion, a human face and a, and a big disgrace. I, I think I'd like to take it to a dog park, but people probably wouldn't stop screaming. Also, I'd be on a date with a dog. I, I can't date a dog. 0 out of 10. Mothman. Freaky creepy, gorgios. I can't even begin to think of how I would even ask Mothman on a date. I don't think that I could fathom Mothman, let alone fathom asking them to come over to my house to watch my favorite Dana Carvey movie, Master of Disguise. I would wade through buckets of blood just to have Mothman suspiciously teleport into my DMs. But that monster that I can't see would more than likely not go on a date with me. 9 out of 10. But only because while I would enjoy the date, Getting one would prove most difficult. Frankenstein. Sweet, but not really my type. Kind of seems like the type of dude to get the wrong order at the restaurant and not tell the waitstaff politely that he's received the fish instead of the chicken. Cute, but I I'm looking for a bad boy here. I would play video games with Frankenstein, maybe even hang out with him, but man, I, I wouldn't date him. 3 out of 10. Pyramid Head. I would take him to the Bass Pro Shop Pyramid. I would get him a Bass Pro Shop Pyramid Head. I would let him show me cool rusty hallway pics on Instagram. I think he may not behave himself inside a restaurant setting or a movie theater setting, but would it be a really cool guy to bring to a disco or a sock hop? 10 out of 10. Incredibly dateable. The Keeper from Evil Within. I've got some meat for you to mash. It's going to be a delicious steak at a restaurant. Maybe you don't have the combination to that safe, but do you have the key to my heart? Yeah, maybe. 6 out of 10. Wendigo. I mean, sure, it subsists on a diet of human flesh, but I'll try anything once. 5 out of 10. Cookie Monster. Not a scary monster unless you're one of the folks manning the Walmart baked goods section. This boy is just too sweet for me. I'm, of course, giving him a chance, but let's say we go paragliding and he starts freaking out and he rips off the paraglider and he falls 10,000 feet to his death. I mean, I, I, I can't make that kind of commitment with someone like that. 3 out of 10. The Loveland Frog. A suggestion from the Logan brand on Twitter. A walking frog. A great companion indeed, but what if I wanted to go to Perry? Would he freak out? Would the frog legs freak him out and he'd run off leaving me stranded in Perry? I don't want the Loveland Frog to strand me in Perry. 6 out of 10. Jaws. I'm not dating a fish. 0 out of 10. The Creature from the Black Lagoon. I might be inclined to date a fish. 4 out of 10. Shape of Water's Amphibian Man. I, I would probably, I would probably date a fish. 8 out of 10. Slender Man. I mean, I'm a tall guy. He's a tall guy. We're both just two tall guys being dudes and hanging out. Maybe go to a hot spring for a date, rest our backs. One thing about Slenderman is that he's relatable. I also have no face. 7 out of 10. Pinhead. I don't want to just bust open a box and be immediately victim to the best CBT of my life. No. No thank you. I can take things slow, and I can take things medium, but I know with Pinhead it'll go way too fast. 
one out of ten. Skeleton. Just a skeleton. No bones about it. You can't bang a skeleton. I'm sorry. I know you can find ways for the skeleton to bone you, but I don't want that. Would not date or go on a date with a skeleton. Don't undertale me. I will not be undertailed. Zero out of ten. Roman. I think that in a fight, a bear would defeat a gorilla. However, Roman might be able to fend off a few bears during our cool hiking trip through the mountains of Colorado. Eight out of ten. The thing. Here's the thing. I'm not dating John Carpenter's The Thing. This frightens me in real life. I saw this movie when I was a child and the abstract horror of everything around me being consumed by alien DNA horrifies me and I'm not getting consumed. No thank you, no how. Negative 10 out of 10, not dateable. The Grunt from Amnesia. I keep trying to feed it soup, but the soup keeps dribbling out. And now I've made a mess and everyone is laughing at me. Why would you embarrass me like this? Date as bad as this, I just want to forget. Two out of 10. Baba Yaga. Before John Wick was called Baba Yaga for some weird reason, there was a witch in a funny little house with funny big chicken legs. The house, not the witch. Now, the main thing I have to ask is, if we walk her house through a McDonald's drive through do you think that we'll be served? Four out of ten. Xenomorph. Sorry, ma'am. I'm not into that. My HR Geiger counter is going off, and while some may think you're rad, I'm far too young to be a dad. Three out of ten. Nemesis. Not taking him to get soup, that's for sure. I'm not making that mistake again. The only problem I can really see is we would probably be kicked out of any dating venues because of his massive gun and lack of trigger discipline. I mean, though he's beefy, but um, that's about it. 4 out of 10. The Spider from Limbo. God, I mean, if I was a leg guy, then this would be all over for me in a heartbeat. But it's a spider. Now, I don't fear spiders, but I do fear the giant murder machine kind. I have seen eight-legged freaks. I know what WCW champion David Arquette knows. Two out of ten. Necromorph. I'm not really put off by the horrifying knife flesh, but what I am put off is by someone who's joined a cult. I'm not going to read a pamphlet while we're at the Necromorph's beach house on, on, on unity and assimilation. It's not for me. One out of ten. The Blob. Easy to please. Comfortable. Six out of ten. Freddy Krueger. The man of my dreams. I mean, I mean nightmares. If we're talking new Freddy, then absolutely not. If we're talking Robert England Freddy, then I'd be tempted. Oh lord, I'd be tempted to see a movie with him. 7 out of 10. Dracula from Castlevania. What a hot daddy wants a hot daddy gets, and if he wants to be my hot daddy, then I have more than enough daddy issues to oblige. 8 out of 10. Leatherface. Nah. 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 No. Not because of the human face thing, nor because he's in Call of Duty. It's because the chainsaw is ineffective and stupid. What is he going to do? How's he going to eat spaghetti with that? Bring that thing to the dinner table? No. 3 out of 10. Graboids. You can take him to a movie, but if we go out to the sand dunes and shred some desert, then I think it'd be a pretty wild time. Nothing more than that, though. The relationship would stagnate. I don't think I'd find the ass end. 4 out of 10. The car from Christine. I, I guess we could go to a drive-in movie theater, but I've never been one to Google how do I date a car, and I think they would resent me for it. Three out of ten. The Leprechaun. If you aren't at least six feet, then you aren't getting meat at Frank's Steakhouse. However, uh, gold? I would get gold. I don't want to be a like a gold digger or anything. I'm looking for meaningful companionship. I'm looking for love. The gold helps, though. Four out of ten. Regenerador from Resident Evil. Thanks to at Sith on Twitter. Yeah, okay. We go out to an axe throwing bar. Uh, they stand in front of the target. I chuck axes and they catch them all in their chest. We laugh. I clean their teeth afterwards. All in all, a good time to be had. 7 out of 10. Rancor. Bringing a table and one really big chair and one normal sized chair down to the pit. One medium sized waiter and an all you can eat buffet means that as long as I can sate his appetite, then I won't have to worry about being eaten. I mean, hey, if that's what you want, that's cool and all, but I just want to discuss my collection of fine tea over a hot plate of deep fried gorg. Five out of ten. Now it's time for the Godzilla lightning round. That means we're going to whip a shitty right through some Godzilla monsters real fast and real cool. Let's go. Godzilla, a cool classic, 8 out of 10. American Godzilla, a chunky boy who knows what he wants, 6 out of 10. Other American Godzilla, sorry, I don't want to hear about your kids, 3 out of 10. Shin Godzilla, took me to a hot topic to apply for the credit card for them, still very nice, 7 out of 10. Mothra, cute, not Mothman cute, mind you, but cute, 5 out of 10. King Ghidorah, three heads are better than one, but if we're talking snorkel running for an underwater date, then that really, really ups the premium, 4 out of 10. Mecha Godzilla, where are we going? Mechanics? Nah, 2 out of 10. Rodan, 
Sorry, nerds. Not a Rodan stand. Three out of ten. So ends the Godzilla lightning round. Pennywise. Yeah, I think my inherent fear of clowns is going to put a pin in this one. I don't want to be the one to ghost Pennywise, but I have to be the one to ghost Pennywise. Zero out of ten. Cybermen. Assimilate, huh? I've never been one to go with the flow and, and follow the crowd. Three out of ten. 80s Pennywise. Okay, if it's actually Tim Curry under the makeup, then yes, I would give 80s Pennywise a chance. If not, then absolutely no. No. Two out of ten. Matt Cordell, maniac cop in the streets, maniac in the kitchen making some fine honey glazed ham and meeting me in his dining room with two bottles of Mike's Hard Lemonade. I mean, who are you to deny my lust for ham? Six out of ten. The Fly. You'd love to be on the wall when me and this guy meet. I mean, I don't want to judge a book by its cover, but as Kafka once said, Oh God, I don't want to turn into a bug or date a guy who's a bug and get married to a guy that's a bug and have millions of bug children. That's not me. Two out of ten. Witch. The ribbon candy in her candy dish tried to eat me and I still haven't fully recovered. Three out of ten. Billy the Puppet. Crazy that people call this dude Jigsaw when he's not Jigsaw. I will, I will, I would want to play a game. It's Scrabble, and we hang out in the cool murder dungeon. I just don't think that he would be able to pick me up in that tricycle, so I'd have to provide transport. 5 out of 10. Death Angels. Knowing my dumbass, I would try to have them listen to music that I like, and since really big sounds kill them and most of the music I listen to is just different alarm sirens from around the world, then it might end up dead on the date. They have a cool head, though. 4 out of 10. Alien. Now it's time for the alien lightning round. That means I'm going to whip a shitty through some hot alien boys and tell you what I think about them real, real fast. Let's go. Aliens from Signs. No beach dates, no pool dates. Three out of ten. Martians from Mars Attacks. What a snack. Six out of ten. Independence Day Aliens. The Incel Alien. Zero out of ten. Killer Clowns from Outer Space. No! Negative 20 out of ten. They Live Aliens. I came here to kick ass and date monsters. I'm not all out of monsters. Four out of ten. Gorn from Star Trek. If Kirk just took him to Panera Bread, then things would be different. 3 out of 10. Alf. What? Alf? 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 Okay, all jokes aside, this bastard eats cats. I'm not condoning the crimes of Pussy Eater Alf. 0 out of 10. Brain Bug. Do you want to see a scary movie with me? Coward. 3 out of 10. And so ends the alien lightning round. Jeepers Creepers. Where'd you pop those peepers, my creepy little guy? This hot hunk of flesh and bone has to repair itself with the flesh of others, and I think that maybe a trip to a cabaret might give it some lovely pipes to serenade me with. However, you gotta wait 23 years for 23 days for the creeper to appear, and I don't want to make that kind of reservation for only two, maybe three dates if I live long enough. I can't make that kind of commitment. Five out of ten. Sasquatch. You know what they say about big feet? They have a big appetite for some delicious Smucker's Uncrustable sandwiches that I'll be bringing to the picnic that I have with this burly cryptid. It can show me wonders of nature and protect me from deadly, deadly bees. Sasquatch, Bigfoot, you're my EpiPen. 8 out of 10. Yeti, Bigfoot's nasty cousin. I think hygiene is key. It's a pretty important point for me. Having a bunch of meat and bones kind of hanging out and chilling in the old ice cave is going to make it hard for me to really enjoy the time I'd spend with the Yeti. I think I would regret the Yeti. 3 out of 10. Flesh Pound. Imagine the kinds of cool barbecues you could have with this guy is your host. Not only will he carry the groceries up the stairs in one trip, but he'd bring the whole damn car upstairs if you wanted him to. You go get your pound of flesh. 7 out of 10. Chupacabra. You know what really gets my goat? That for some reason I expect the chupacabra to smell really nice, like a real potpourri of delight. I don't know, something about the chupacabra really speaks nice smells to me. 6.5 out of 10. Monster House. The house from Monster House is not dateable. I don't care how interesting you are in the house from Monster House, but the house from Monster House is a committed wife and a committed house. They're in the textbook for taking housewife literally. I mean, it's Monster House. What am I going to do? Pay for a semi-truck to bring them to the Chuck E. Cheese with me? No. 3 out of 10. Balrog. Will toast your marshmallows just right. He's crispy. He shall get a pass. Not in the bad way, though, but like, like an exclusive pass to date me. 9 out of 10. The Demogorgon. Instead of a bouquet of flowers, you would just get its beautiful unfurling head. Wow. What a fella. What a steal. It probably wouldn't want to play Dungeons and Dragons or anything with me, though, and that's okay. We can just go into the Upside Down and they can make me right side up. 6 out of 10. Lipstick Demon. Look, alright. 
Most people think Darth Maul, but there's this wrestler named the Boogeyman and that's all I can think of when I see the lipstick demon from Insidious. I mean, how am I supposed to take this clown seriously? I mean, I love Tiny Tim. They love Tiny Tim. I think we'd have some common ground, but really I would, I would swipe left. Four out of 10, the invisible man. I can clearly see that a carnival is out of the question. How are you gonna enjoy the fun house if you can't see yourself in the wacky mirrors? I guess if he's in mummy mode, it'd be fine. Four out of 10, the pale man. Finger food is out of the question. I really want to try that new dip your hands into the vat of grease and grab whatever food you can place. I mean, dude also looks like Mitch McConnell, which is a big deal breaker for me. One out of ten. Babadook. Here's a plan. We go to the Outback Steakhouse. I eat an entire bloomin' onion. The Babadook asks for a plate of fear. The Babadook does not get a plate of fear. The Babadook spits at the waitress. We are kicked out of the Outback Steakhouse. Four out of ten. Deadites. If you date someone possessed by the demons from the Book of the Dead, you have to imagine that couples yoga classes are a lot more interesting and have a lot more blood. I'll be wearing my groovy crucifix to protect me from the devil inside of me. If that doesn't work, then we'll have, uh, we'll have a lot more in common in the end. 7 out of 10. Tank. Beef. Hunk. Big. Move over, Bufferiku. This giant daddy is games personified. I think after the third date to the gym, I'd probably get sick of this swole journey. They seem like they have some anger issues that they have to work out, and I don't need that kind of negativity in my life. 4 out of 10. Lich. Undead and ready to bone. The Lich is essentially a wizard skeleton and the most likely to be a Karen out of all the undead archetypes. I would eventually get sick of speaking to the manager of the magical tool shop because their new orb of damned souls has the soul of a racist comedian in it. 2 out of 10. Mike Wazowski. Okay, hear me out. Mike Wazowski. And you. You're square dancing. Mike gives you the eye. You can't resist? You can't resist the pure, powerful, primo energy that Mike Wazowski emits. I'm sorry. 9.5 out of 10. Daleks. Bad for cuddles, but great for skipping in line to the newest Avatar movie. 3 out of 10. Gossamer. Hair. Imagine all of that hair. If you like to braid, then you're entering a world of dreams. But I'm already in a relationship wherein half of my mornings are cleaning hair out of my teeth after cuddles, so I think I'll have to pass. 3 out of 10. Gremlins. Lizard Furby wants you to pay for their meal because they forgot to bring their wallet. You reluctantly pay. By the time you turn around to hand the waiter your card, Lizard Furby has already ripped through the restaurant, killing everyone inside. <sighs> 5 out of 10. Critters. Too much for me. Too much for me. They would probably want to steal a rocket or something. I mean, in space, no one can hear you cream. 2 out of 10. Pumpkinhead. That feel with no GF or BF. That feel with Pumpkinhead. 1 out of 10. Michael Myers. Okay. Michael Myers isn't technically a monster. But I knew that if I didn't include him, and included Jason and Freddy, then y'all would be mad. And I don't need that kind of heat in my kitchen. I'm just gonna play this safe. Michael and I would probably be able to go rock climbing and, and have a good time. 7 out of 10. Nosferatu. Cool graveyard walks. Promises of eternal life. 7 out of 10. Mummy. I would rather have the mummy as my bro, instead of my date. I mean, the traditional mummy has you covered on toilet paper anytime you need it. Now, if we're talking about the mummy from that other Brendan's movie, then yeah. Okay, I would definitely go to a pizzeria with that guy. 4.3 out of 10. The monster right behind you. God, what what the hell is that? Right behind you there? Do, do you see it? Can you perceive that? Is, is that always there? Dude. Yeah, I'd date that. 8 out of 10. Thank you for watching. Please check out my other videos. There are also things that if you want to watch more videos like this where I rate or review things, watch my rating Scooby-Doo monster video from last year and uh, have a good chuckle. Have a little funny, funny ha-ha, a little funny hee-hee, and have a good time. I have a Patreon if you want to check that out. I'm almost always streaming on Twitch. I'm probably streaming right now. And uh, subscribe or whatever. I don't, I don't care. I'm, I'm not your dad or anything, but, you know, I could be if you wanted me to. But I'd be like a, a monstrous dad. Grr. <laughs> I'm going to go now. Bye.